Uh, first of all, thanks for everybody uh, coming. Um, we've been able to get away for a little bit, and uh, I think that gives you an opportunity re to reflect. Um, the, the series with Boston was very challenging. Um, you look at that series, and we were up in the second half in all those games and felt like you really had a chance to, to win one or, or at least have a chance to win one. And uh, we were close, but that doesn't matter. So we're going to look at a lot of uh, the things we're doing and try to improve. But as you get away from it a while, it gives you a chance to really reflect. And the truth is, um, last year, uh, excuse me, the year before was the best year I'd ever had in basketball. Uh, phenomenal locker room, phenomenal team, completely overachieved. And this team, this past year, is right up there with that. Um, hard to even imagine uh, losing your best player uh, with a season-ending injury and still staying competitive. And uh, the previous year, we had won 48 games. And this team, with a major injury, won 48 games game so I think you have to put it in perspective that this team did two things and two words keep coming back to my mind as you describe a team and that is um, I'm really proud of the team I'm proud of this team they competed I remember uh, going into the locker room when Victor when we found out <laughs> he looked at me and he said can you talk to the team and I said yeah and I remember standing up there and, and seeing a, a, a team that was a little, um, a little hurt, a little dejected. Um, but as we got past that, I could, I could see the guys wanted to come together and they didn't want to give up on the season, that they really wanted to fight for that third spot. That's what they kept telling me, kept telling Nate, that they wanted to fight for that third spot. They wanted to surprise everybody and fight for the third spot. Now, we didn't hold on to the third spot, but we fought for that uh, late into the season. So one of the words is I'm super proud of this team. Um, and at the end of the day, what you want is to be able to say the team overachieved and that your culture is strong. And I think that our culture is as strong as ever. Um, it didn't show up in the playoffs because true talent really shows up then. And we have to improve our talent. That's one of the things Nate and I have to look at is, is how we improve our talent. But uh, the first thing is I'm super proud. Uh, the second thing is, and I, I think it's pretty obvious, and that is this, th this team really persevered. Uh, it was hit over the head with the Victor uh, injury, and we lost the next four games. And then after that, we went on huge runs. I don't know what our winning was the next month, but we really came together. And we had a lot of guys step up. I felt like when you lose uh, Victor, you not only lose a talent on the floor, uh, Victor brings a presence. He brings a positive presence. He, presence. he brings, um, you know, as he says, he hits the reset button every single day and he comes in and that refreshing personality is probably what we missed the most. Just having him around and uh, being a part of the team, that hurt us. And so the team came together, and, and we had some guys really step up in a leadership role. I felt like Thad said, we're going to make this playoffs. We're going to be a good team. Uh, I felt like Darren, uh, Corey, Boyan, uh, Sabonis, and Miles they weren't going to be told that we were going to, I hate this word, tank. We were not going to tank. And I give a lot of credit to those guys for stepping up and uh, still making the playoffs. Um, I remember talking immediately to uh, Herb Simon, and Herb said, uh, I want to stay competitive. I want to make the playoffs. And so between the playoffs, Herb and Nate, there was no doubt we were going to keep competing and we're going to compete our butts off. And um, we end up winning 48 games, and that's, that's really a hat tip to those guys. Um, we had some milestones this year that I think need to be earmarked and something that I feel like uh, 
is probably underappreciated in our league. We had three players <coughs> that were available to play in both years, and that was Corey, Boyan, and Thad. They were available to play two straight years without injury. That's an impressive – in 82 games, 82 games, we all know that's a long season. They played or were available to play in, um, in all those games. We also had – which was really unique – uh, I don't think I've ever been a part of a team that had this. We had three different players make player of the week. Victor, uh, Bojan, and Thad. I don't know of a team that uh, has ever had three players make player of the week. Now, it's, it's, it's a nice award. It doesn't de determine your season, but I think that's a real hat tip to those guys and, and, and shows that we did have a team more than just – just one player. Um, that all being said, uh, I can tell you that the Boston loss was as challenging uh, of a series that I've ever been a part of. Um, I thought we'd win a couple games. I think we all have to look in the mirror. I think we all have to say we've got to get better. Uh, we've got to look at our process. We're big fans of uh, 3T. We believe in toughness, togetherness, and trust. We live it. We breathe it. We started that two years ago before the Colts. And, uh, and that's something that uh, we talk about every single day. And, and we have to really evaluate some of those things. And, and we got to try to do it better. It's very cliche to say, God, we, we got to do things better. But I think one of the things that we try to do is – as a organization, and Nate um, uh, and I, we're willing to look in the mirror. We're willing to look at things that we need to improve on. Uh, one of the things I'm so proud of is that you know Nate was coach of the month in the was it December? He he knows he. <laughs> I don't remember. I, I tell you, I don't. I think it was. He did, that, that is that early is in the season, and. And at the end of the day, this all comes from uh, good leadership. And Nate is a very good leader. He's led us in two years, or now three years, to, to the playoffs. Um, but we have some real unique things coming up in our uh, organization. We have potentially, depending on what the cap comes in, between 43 and $45 million in cap space. Uh, I think that brings a lot of excitement. I think that allows us to be super aggressive. Um, a lot of the questions you guys want to know is, can we bring in a big-name guy? Can we bring in the superstars? Well, the truth is, the thing that we can offer any player and something that we work on every day is we believe that we have a very strong culture. We feel like that we are very player-centric and that uh, players come here and they know that they're going to get taken care of. I feel like we've got the best medical and physical therapy training staff, and Josh and uh, our doctors in that group are unbelievable. Um, and so you're going to come here, you're going to get taken care of, and you know we're going to win. And I think that the more you can do that, the more that you can prove that you're going to take care of the players, you're going to develop the players, and that you're about winning, that you put all other things aside and you are about winning, uh, then you have a chance. I'm not saying that we can get the, the big players. We'll go after them. Uh, we'll make the pitches. We're not afraid. We're, we're willing to think big. I gave uh, my management staff a book here recently called The Magic of Thinking Big. And uh, so we want to think big. Uh, it may happen. It may not happen. The one thing that we believe very strongly in is that uh, once you sign with us, we're going to do our best to make you feel comfortable here. Um, and we're going to prove that with our daily actions. Um, so I'm excited. We've got $43 million in, in cap space. A lot of things can be done with that. A lot of people think that's all about just signing a player. Really, what happens with $43 million in cap space <coughs> allows you to do uneven trades, it allows trades to go into that cap space. Uh, it allows you to go sign players. It just gives you a lot of flexibility. And um, 
with a team winning 48 games, I can promise you we're going to talk to all of our guys that are free agents. Uh, they deserve that. They deserve that respect. I'm not going to get any into any details in terms of who we're going after or who we're not going after. Uh, I don't think that's fair to them. I think I want to respect uh, their privacies, and plus I don't want to tip off any 29 other teams. And um, But we're going to be aggressive this summer. We're going to be very opportunistic, and when we see some uh, opportunities come up, we're going to be uh, – we're going to be willing to pounce on those. So uh, I'm happy with the season. Uh, it ended on a bitter note. We all know that. That 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 taste is still in our mouths. It's it's hard to get over it. Um, but I'm proud of this team. I'm proud of Nate and what he did this year uh, in guiding a team to 48 wins. And and I think the future looks really bright because we've got a bunch of young players, a, a good y young core coming back, and, and I believe that that will be attractive for uh, free agents when we go after free agents.